Hi everyone, so welcome to one more fantastic by MCQ's discussion. Let us start with the first MCQ. A 20 year old patient with vomiting was treated with antiemetics. So patient had vomiting and he was given antiemetic. Patient was relieved of symptoms. Later then developed abnormal posture of head and uprolling of eyeballs. Which of the following drug to be prescribed? To reduce this abnormal movements so what are they telling you patient was given an antiemetic then the vomiting stopped after that the posture of the head and eyeball changed so what the drug used to manage this condition the the antiemetic what we can guess from this is metoclopramide which is frequently tested in your exam this drug is a d2 blocker now this will cross the blood brain barrier and it also blocks dopamine in the brain so once it blocks dopamine in the brain there is dopamine blockade and there is increase in acetylcholine so this will lead to an abnormal movement that is called acute dystonia so patient may present with torticollis or ocular gyric crisis so this is what happens when we give metoclopramide then what is the treatment for this? We know the problem here is dopamine is blocked and acetylcholine is more. So what should I do? I have to reduce the acetylcholine. So we use anticholinergics which reduce the acetylcholine and what is used commonly is a drug by the name Benzhexol. Benzhexol has one more name that is called trihexyphenidyl. One more drug that is used is Promethazine. Promethazine is an antihistamine, but it also has anticholinergic property. Now, this is a favorite for examiner, repeatedly asked antiemetic metoclopramide. So, the answer for this question is obviously option C, Benzexol. Methyl dopa, it is used for managing hypertension in pregnant women. So, what I call them is mother dopa, so it is used in hypertension in pregnant women. Hyosin or scopolamine, they are used to manage drug of choice for motion sickness. A vomiting condition called motion sickness, we use scopolamine or hyosin. Ciprohepatidin is a 5ST2 blocker. It is the drug of choice for a serotonin excess condition that is called serotonin syndrome. The name is ciprohepatidin. It is a drug of choice for serotonin syndrome. So here, when we give metoclopramide, it can lead to dystonia. The treatment for that is anticholinergics. Moving on to the second MCQ. A patient is on multibacillary treatment for uh, leprosy. You can see multibacillary, multidrug therapy and presented with inflammation or pre-existing lesions. And also nerve are involved treatment approach will be so patient is a patient of leprosy and he is on treatment for leprosy he is on treatment so while you are on treatment patient is on treatment what happens the lepra bacilli will die and when they die there is immune response to that there is an immune response for that bacilli and that is called as lepra reaction So what will you do when there is lepra reaction? You can see the nodules have increased in size. You can see the rashes here in the image. So there are four options. Try to answer them. So option one, stop anti-leprosy therapy and start steroids. Stop anti-leprosy therapy and give thalidomide. Continue anti-leprotic therapy and start steroids. Continue anti-leprotic therapy and give thalidomide. So there are nodules, you can see redness, so it is erythoma, nodoma, erythema, nodosum, leprosum, redness, nodules, leprosum. So remember, if this is happening, we don't stop treatment for leprosy, leprosy treatment will continue, but we have to suppress the immunity. So we use immunosuppressant drug that is steroid. So the correct answer is C, continue anti-leprotic therapy and start steroids. Coming back. Lepra reactions are two types. 
type 1 lepra reaction and type 2 lepra reaction also called as erythema nodosa leprosa so the drug of choice for type 1 is steroids so should we discontinue the anti leprosy therapy no continue it even in type 2 the drug of choice is steroids suppose this is coming again and again if this is recurrent type 2 lepra reaction enl then the drug of choice becomes thalidomide so since the question is not telling it is recurrent so we will start steroid the other things what we can give is we can give clofizamine and chloroquine for type 2 lepra reactions but remember two important drug steroids and thalidomide for lepra reactions yes so the answer for this question is continue anti leprosy therapy and start steroids yes now moving on to the next one third mcq requirement and guidelines on clinical trials for import and manufacture of new drugs are given in so you know there are certain drug schedules so they are keeping on asking you repeatedly so tell me which schedule represent the guidelines for clinical trials so if you are telling schedule y then you are right so earlier we had schedule y for clinical trials now we have a new thing called new drugs clinical trial rules so we have a new guideline called new drugs n for new drugs clinical trial rules it was proposed in 2019 so schedule y has been replaced by this if there are examiners they can also test schedule y or this guidelines so that will give you the guidelines to conduct clinical trial apart from that what is schedule h schedule h means drug should be taken with prescription It's prescription drug then what is schedule g same prescription plus the drug is given with medical supervision so the doctor will supervise when you give that that is called schedule g then what is schedule x these are highly narcotic and psychotropic drugs narcotic and psychotropic drugs example is ketamine amphetamine like that so when you prescribe these drugs you have to give xerox duplicate prescription of this drug so these are the three important schedules you should be knowing okay so here it is clinical trial guidelines are given at schedule y moving on to the next question a patient was on treatment for depression with fluoxetine what is fluoxetine it is an ssri he had a cancer pain and was decided to start with opioids for can that which of the following opioid should not be given with fluoxetine so try to guess the answer morphine meperidine codeine pentazosin yes so don't give meperidine so if you give meperidine with ssri there is risk of increased serotonin and it can lead to serotonin syndrome so that is why this combination should not be given what is the other name for meperidine meperidine is also called as pethidine pethidine so that is the reason you should not use it and tell me what is the treatment for serotonin syndrome the treatment is ciproheptadine the answer is ciproheptadine okay sir coming to the last question a highly selective alpha agonist was used for short term sedation of critically ill adult patient the drug is so we are finding out a alpha agonist used for short term sedation of critically ill adult patient what is the drug name now aprocodin is also alpha agonist but it is used to manage glaucoma yes dexmedetomidine is also alpha to agonist alpha agonist that is the one which is used for icu sedation of critically ill patient so the answer will be b remember dex medito medicine so if you want to meditate somebody in medicine ward dex medito medicine coming to clonidine clonidine is also alpha to agonist 
it is used to manage hypertension which hypertension resistant hypertension it is also again used in tics disorder diabetes patients having diarrhea so it is also been tried in diarrhea and diabetics tics disorder hypertension and also the patch of this clonidine is used for managing post menopausal heart flush post menopausal heart flush so all are alpha 2 agonist to what we have here even this guana bens is an alpha 2 agonist similar to clonidine so the answer for this question is option b dex meditomedin so we had a short discussion of all this important mcqs so any doubt you can post in the comment section thank you all take care